Good Sunday morning to you. Welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on a patio. Today, smoking my Savinelli 320 Series 3, which is coloring up very nicely, but it looks like I got some. Well, maybe not. I just got some ash on that side there. It's coloring up very nicely. And in it, I am smoking up some Gawthan Hogarth, Hogarth Dark Flake Scented Aromatic or Dark Scented A, depending on where you live. This is some good stuff. This is a little bit stronger than the the brown scented flake. A little bit stronger. The taste is a little bit more pronounced. This has a bit of licorice. Some there's some Tonkin bean in this. There's a little bit of the floral in here. A lot more floral in this than in the um, brown, I believe, to my taste. And there's some alcohol I'm tasting, but I can't pick it out right now. It's not rum. It's not rum. Maybe the same as in the in the brown. I don't know, but I'm just I'm not able to place it right now. But it's good. It's good. It's a little stronger than the brown. It's delicious, but I think I prefer the brown. Or have to give another go to the brown and see which one I like better. Or to give them a couple more, a couple more tries each to really decide. I think this one has a bit more floral than the brown does. I 
but it's good. It's good. I'm not complaining at all. I'm loving it. It'll be a regular. It'll be a regular. Guarantee you that. So we had quite the rainstorm yesterday. It was a major storm yesterday. And uh, so I didn't get out here at all yesterday to, to smoke a pipe. But, so we're still kind of cloudy with some blue skies in between the clouds. And I think we're hitting just the last edge of this this front here. We were on the the northern edge of that front that went through New Orleans and Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi. And the Carolinas and we were just on the, the northern edge of it. So we didn't get it nearly as bad as everybody else. But it's gorgeous today. The sun is shining. It's coming out. It's about 60 degrees when the clouds are covering it. It's chilly, but I mean, not chilly, chilly, but it's not. It's not warm. When the sun's out, it's warm, but. We got birds building nests all over the place out here, especially in that big uh, pine tree across the street, man. They're just flying in and out of there, right and left, just pairs of pairs of birds flying in and out. It was funny yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was sitting out here, and a crow Came flying right up across here with a had a blue jay and a in a uh, in a uh, robin and another little bird chasing after it and they just chased it down the, down the street. They were like, "You are not wanted here." And they just chased him away. The three of those little birds were just chasing after that big old crow. Chased him right out of the neighborhood. <laughs> it was funny to watch because they were right on his tail, boy. Robins are everywhere, man. The robins are everywhere. We had a phone company guys were out here putting in new phone poles on the street. They put one on our street here, you know, down the middle of the block, and then one right up the street here and one down here. They need to put one right here. This one here is so far bent. It's got poliosis. Things so crooked. And the one right on the corner here is leaning probably a good seventy five degrees.
think they're probably doing just a few at a time here. Got a couple of doves sitting right here, right above me. It's nice to have doves back, I'll tell you. I love the doves. Beautiful day. So Denny's in taking a nap because she goes on call at midnight tonight. So she'll be on call 24 hours. So just in case she gets called in, she likes to take a nap. So I'm using my big, my big tamper. This one I got up in Alaska when I was up there, and I just carved the tip of it here, and it works perfect in my 320s. I love this big one. I love that wood. That's my 320 tamper. I use that one in all my 320s. I need to get some sandpaper and sand down this the tip of it though. And get it more refined a little bit. Or you get a stone and really, really work it with the stone. I'd rather use stones and tan sandpaper because I like it to be more rustic looking. As Kilted Piper Steve says, I, I like doing it the Indian way, you know. I like getting a smooth stone and rubbing it on the wood and smoothing out the wood with a stone. And Good tobacco, man.
good stuff. Good stuff, really good stuff. If you are into the uh, you know the Gawith and Hogarth blends and you like that Tonkin Tonkin bean and some of the floral uh, give this one a try. This is delicious stuff. So I got a tin of Innerdale Flake from uh, Stonehenge Piper a while back and I haven't opened it yet. And I'm going to open that, jar it up, and try that. I had, I had a little bit that I tried from 13 pipes and I really enjoyed it. And so now I want to <coughs> open that tin up and dive deep into it and and really give that a try because that's a strong Lakeland. I'm just discovering these Tonkin bean tobaccos and I'm loving these the Tonkin bean is just such a great flavor so different than the Lakelands vanilla-like flavor that the Tonkin bean has, but it's so different than vanilla, but it's it's a vanilla-like, but it's got a taste all its own. It's just so good. And then you get that slight bit of floral in there that just tops it off beautifully. I swear there's some dark fires in this. 
There's got to be some dark fires because I'm getting like that barbecue type flavor in there as well. Which maybe that's where the dark flake comes from is the dark fires. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's in this as far as tobaccos. But I'm getting that barbecue flavor like from uh, that I get from like dark fired old dark fire and stuff like that get that barbecue flavor which is just just a delicious tobacco this is just incredible smoke this the more things I'm I'm getting out of it which is amazing it's really good and mm, I'm about to come back to this one and, and give you a, a final thoughts once I've smoked this a few more times and give you my final thoughts on it I don't usually do that I usually just tell you that I like it or don't like it and move on, but this one I'm finding a lot of nuances in it that are piquing my interest. There's a lot of stuff going on in this tobacco. All of it good. All of it good. So I'll be back later in a week or two doing a, a follow up on this one. Tell you what I think of this. I'm not a big tobacco reviewer, you know. I just usually tell you if I. I like it. In fact, I don't usually tell you the tobaccos I don't like because I just don't. First off, there's not a lot of tobaccos I don't like, but when I do find a tobacco I don't like, I don't want to waste your time with a video of a tobacco I don't like, so. but I, unless it's really, really, really bad. I like to give you the positive stuff, the stuff I like, so that you can try that. Especially if you know you like other stuff that I like. You know, I tend to watch you know, guys that that have similar tastes to me. Uh, 13 Pipes, Pat the Peddling Piper. Those guys have the same kind of tastes that I have in tobacco. So I, I watch those guys, and if they have something new that I haven't tried, and they like it, I'm going to try that because they have similar tastes to me. Or if a Stonehenge minstrel tells me about something I'm gonna try that one because he's got the same kind of taste as me so it's good to find guys that you know have the same tastes as you in, in tobaccos and, and listen to what they're liking and if they don't have the same taste as you then Like if you like, you know, cherry, Captain Black, and those kind of things, you're probably not kind of like what I like. But, you know, I like watching guys who like that kind of stuff, too, because it's just fun to watch them enjoy what they enjoy, 
you know. But I am not going to go buy that stuff, so. Because I know what I enjoy. So I, I watch who I, who has the same kind of taste as I have to find new tobaccos. And that's where I found a lot of these tobaccos that I'm smoking now is through 13 pipes and peddling pipe or pat. And because uh, they have the same taste as I have, the same we like the same tobaccos. So if they have something that's good, that they think is good, I'm I'm probably going to try it. And uh, you know, it doesn't always work, but sometimes, most of the time, it does. And uh, like I like Condor, Thirteen Pipes cannot stand Condor. <laughs> Well, you know, what are you going to do until you try it, so. Alright guys, man, this one took a long time. Sorry guys. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. God bless y'all.